hello everyone so in this uh, adams tutorial we will see how to obtain uh, inversions of slider crank chain so as we know different mechanisms obtained by fixing different links of a kinematic chains so these are generally called as a inversions so slider crank chain has this typical four inversions so we'll see one by one so in the first inversion when we fix this link one so we get the first inversion in the second case when we fix this crank link number two we get the second inversion then third inversion by fixing the link three and the fourth inversion by fixing the slider so we'll see how to obtain this in uh, adams software now this is a uh, uh, already slider crank mechanism is model in adams uh, so how to model the slider crank mechanism in adams if you want to see you can see the first part of this video so link for the this video is given in the description so we'll see one by one inversions so we'll go to the connectors now in the present this model none of the link is fixed so we'll fix the this link one so for that you can go to the connectors and select this option create a fixed joint so if i select this then i have to select the two parts that is first part will be the link one and second part as a ground so then so this link one is fixed already motion uh, is given and we have given the rotating speed of this crank so here crank is rotating so 10 radian per second so this angular velocity is given now directly we can go to the simulations and we can simulate this so here as link one is fixed so we can find that the crank will rotate so this is the simple slider crank mechanism and its first inversion now we'll remove this fixed link so for that we'll again go to the connectors we'll modify it so we'll delete this and now the application of the that first inversion you can find typically in reciprocating engine or reciprocating compressors now uh, we will go for the second inversion so for that purpose in second inversion if we see in this figure so link 2 that is crank is fixed so we will go to the connector then uh, again create select from the connectors select this create a fixed joint and now link 2 so link 2 is highlighted so you select this and then ground and then this circle so this way link to is fixed now again uh, go to the simulation and we'll run the simulation and here this uh, step size duration is kept same and if you run the simulation now we can see the second inversion so in the second inversion we can see the link one I will just zoom it out now again we'll see now here link 2 is fixed so this link 2 is fixed and link 1 it rotates and the slider in this reciprocates so this typical application we can found in rotary engine okay this typical application we can find in rotary engine or uh, application another application is Whitworth peak return mechanism so this is the second inversion now we'll close this and we'll remove again we'll repeat the procedure we'll remove this fixed joint this is removed now as per the for third inversion that is this one link 3 we have to fix it so we will again go to the connectors fixed joint and we will select 
link three and ground. So link three is fixed, and we'll again simulate this. Will not change the velocity and other parameters. Now we can see. So here this crank again rotates. That is link two rotates. Whereas we can see the slider it oscillates. And this typical example you will find in oscillating cylinder engine and also crank and slotted lever mechanism. So here this cylinder. Four or link cylinder slider sorry slider that is link four is oscillating crank is rotating and this is reciprocating in this. Now we'll go to the last inversion that is fourth inversion. So we'll remove this and again we'll go to the connectors fixed joint and this time to obtain the fourth inversion. This slider is fixed. So we will select the slider and then ground. So this is fixed. Now we will obtain run the simulation and you can see here now. So this is a crank 2 rotates, slider is completely fixed, whereas link 1 is reciprocating in this and link 3 is oscillating. So in this case, this particular application can be found in a hand pump. So in the hand pump, we can see that this lever, that is the pump of the hand. So this link three is oscillating and this is reciprocating. So link four, which is slider is made in the form of cylinder and a plunger fixed to the link one reciprocates in it. So these are the four inversions of the slider crank uh, chain. Thank you.